Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use a PowerPoint presentation as your virtual background for online lessons or whenever you're giving a presentation that will be shared as a video or in online format. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, the first thing you'll have to do is make sure that your Zoom client is updated. Now, the way that you can check that is by first of all, opening up that Zoom client. Here you can find that cog wheel in the top right corner, click on that and then navigate to statistics. Now, these statistics will show you exactly which version of the Zoom client you're running and you need at least version 5.3. As you can see here, I'm using version 5.4, so this feature will work. Now, if you haven't got the most up-to-date client, simply go to Zoom's website and download the most recent version. Now, once you've done that, you're ready to start using PowerPoint presentations as your backgrounds. Now, virtual backgrounds have been around for a while and many of the other platforms are beginning to use them, but Zoom is taking it a step further and they're now adding this functionality. So let's have a look at what this looks like. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is start a new meeting. So let's go ahead and start a new meeting. I'm going to click on new meeting and this will open up a new screen. We're going to click on join with computer audio and then once everything is ready to go, we can turn on our camera. So let's go ahead and select our camera. Now, as you can see here, the video feed is coming from my laptop's webcam. And what I want to do is I want to remove the background, use that virtual background functionality and have my PowerPoint presentation behind me. Now, since the recent update, that is possible. Now, if we were to use the standard virtual background, we would simply go to the bottom here click on that arrow and then select choose virtual background. However, because we want to use a presentation, we're not going there. We are going to go to the middle and we're going to select share screen. Now, once you click on share screen, you will see that three different tabs open up. The first is the basic tab. This is where you share different tabs and different screens. The second is the advanced and then we have files. Now, in order for you to use a PowerPoint presentation as your virtual background, you will have to select that second tab, the one where it says advanced. So let's go ahead and click on advanced. Here you can see the first option there is PowerPoint as virtual background. If this is the very first time that you're doing this, you will be prompted to install a plugin. Go ahead and install that plugin and then simply click on the share button again. This will reopen this menu and you no longer have to install anything. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to click on PowerPoint as virtual background and this prompts me now to open up that file. Now the file can be located anywhere on your device. I've already prepared this on my desktop. Now it's a simple template that I've downloaded from Slides Go and we're going to have a look at that. So let's just open up this PowerPoint presentation and as you can see, it loads it into Zoom. I am visible in the bottom left corner and I can see my presentation behind me. Now, instead of my regular background, it is using the same engine as the virtual backgrounds to present that slideshow. Here I can move to the next slide and I can just continue my lesson online or my workshop or presentation. Myself, I can be moved around the screen. So let's say that there is a lot of content in the bottom left corner that your students have to see. Well, I can move myself to the other side. In addition to that, I can also make myself bigger or smaller depending on the content that is being shared. Now, this is an amazing feature. It's great for students because they can really focus on the content that is being shared without the distractions of your background. In addition to that, it adds to that privacy level that you already had with the virtual backgrounds and it really enables you to run a lesson, run a session, run a workshop online with slides presented behind you. You can then record this and share the video any way you want. Once you've finished and you're ready to move on, simply click on stop share and the regular camera feed returns. Now I am a huge fan of this feature. I think this is definitely a big differentiator between Zoom and some of the other platforms. Now presenting your slideshow behind you as you are giving a lesson or presenting a lesson is such a powerful tool to have. It not only allows you to do it all within Zoom, there is no need for any other software, no need for editing. You can just simply have your PowerPoint presentation 
yourself in the bottom corner and it crops out the background. It's an amazing feature and I hope you will use it. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, check out one of the other suggested videos that are recommended on your screen right now. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.